Two Wausau East students faced disorderly conduct charges after they were involved in a racially motivated fight at school on Friday. But students and parents say this isn't the first time racist comments have been heard in those hallways. Madeline Anderson spoke to school administrators and families in the district today. And she joins us now live in the newsroom with more on our big story. Madeline? Well, the fight stemmed from an argument earlier in the week between a few white and black students that then escalated when people started posting racist comments on Facebook. School administrators and police say it's social media that's to blame for this alarming behavior. But some students and parents believe the issue is much bigger, one of widespread intolerance and ignorance. This is a photo snap from a student's cell phone during the fight that broke out Friday at Wausau East. A police officer tries to subdue one of the students involved in the brawl. I just saw like a huge group of people. Cheyenne Baker wasn't part of the altercation, but she was in the cafeteria where it happened. It makes me kind of mad. The Wausau East freshman just moved to the area with her family last month. As one of very few biracial students, she says she noticed right away that the school is divided when it comes to skin color. Some people are still pretty, you know, white versus black. Although Cheyenne says she's never been outwardly discriminated against. I've heard a lot of use of the N-word, that we're apparently ignorant or uh, we need welfare checks. How often do you hear people say these racist comments? daily like a lot. I'm outraged. This is ridiculous. This should never be allowed at the school. Cheyenne's mom had contacted the director of pupil services just two weeks ago about the racial slurs. I told him flat out he wasn't handling it and that if he didn't do something about it, it was going to be a big problem. And lo and behold, but a week later, it became a big problem. Wausau East principal wouldn't comment Monday on camera but told me over the phone he doesn't think racism is an ongoing problem at his school. Instead, he says hurtful language online is what's triggered this latest incident. If it's affecting her, it's affecting other kids. No matter the root of the problem, families in the district feel something different needs to be done to put an end to the intolerance. I'm sure it will probably happen again because like, I, don't, I don't really feel like they're dealing with it the way they should. Now, the principal says he is working to make sure students are safe when they come to school. The two teens charged in Friday's fight were also the only two disciplined. They have been suspended for five days. And in the interest of full disclosure, I want to mention that the mother and the daughter I spoke to for this story are related to a News Channel 7 employee.